You asked the question, is cancer an infection? Mm. Um, is there an answer, and does that, if there is, does that change how we look at it? Uh, it's a very good question. We know that some cancers are caused by infections. Um, much of the stomach cancer is caused by Helicobacter pylori. It's a pathogen in the stomach, mm. and when it becomes invasive, it can cause cancer. We know that um, cervical cancer can be caused by uh, some chlamydia organisms. We know that um, uh, HIV, a human immunodeficiency virus, can cause uh, a brain cancer or a lymphoma. So we know infectious organisms can cause cancer. The only question is, how often? Is it 100% of cancers? Is it 10%? We don't know. And we don't really research that because instead of asking the question, why did this cancer end up here? The bulk of our research, the National Institutes of Health spends roughly $80 billion of U.S. dollars to try and find out how can we clobber this thing. We never ask, how did it get there? Mm -hmm. Can we change its mind? Can we reverse cancer? Um, and so, is cancer an infection? Sometimes, yes. We don't know how often, and does that change our approach to it? This is where we start looking at um, Louis Pasteur spent decades trying to pasteurize the planet Earth. Pasteurize, of course, means let's cook it, let's mm -hmm. kill them. You take milk, it's got some bacteria. If we cook it, we get rid of the bacteria. Is that a good thing? Maybe not always. Uh, but he found on his deathbed, he said, I have been wrong. It is not the germ, it is the terrain. And so whether it's a cancer cell or an infectious organism, the most important thing is the terrain, which is our body. And that's where nutrition, psychoneuroimmunology, uh, detoxifying, and these other uh, integrative fields play a, an invaluable role in changing the terrain.